Drainage problem at Skyline School. Citizens are upset over the uh, uh, the no fix to a drain at Skyline School. There's one picture. As you can see, the water is rushing down the road. The ditch, the citizens report that the ditch handled it very fine but previously, but now since they tried to repair the ditch and put in a faulty pipe and faulty drains, this is what they got. Flooding at their homes. Here's another picture of the drain and the flooding. Let's see. Here is a, another picture of the water coursing across the road. And here is a picture of destruction at these good folks' home. Added earlier is the approval of county's part up to $14,000 for drainage on County Road 25. This is in partnership with the Jackson County Board of Education. This is the second phase of this project um, on the work that was already done. Um, do we have a motion to approve the county's part up to fourteen thousand dollars? This is the curb and the one for the parking lot. That is correct. And installing two inlets on the drives. The drives. I make the motion. We have a motion to approve the county's part up to fourteen thousand for drainage on County Road Twenty Five. Do we have a second? Second. We have a motion and a second to approve the county's part up to fourteen thousand. All in favor, say aye. Aye. All opposed. Motion carries. That concludes the items for new business on today's session. At this time, we will entertain public comments, and the first one that is signed up is Ms. Jewel Tidwell. My name is Jewel Tidwell. I live at 43 Lane South. We lived my husband and I lived there 43 years. We raised our children there. Jackson County Public Works Department came out and put tile in front of the school. We've never been flooded at our house before. Now we're getting flooded every time it rains. I've called everybody that I know of. If you haven't been called, it's because we didn't have any numbers. And uh, we'd like to have this problem fixed. It, it's getting to be a, so we're afraid of the mold problem that it's going to cause and the deteriorating of our foundation. My husband and I are at the age. We can't start over. We have no way of starting over. So we'd like to get it fixed because that's our home. We work for it. And we'd like to see the county fix this problem. Because every time it rains, it floods. Last Monday, we were flooded twice. And I think I called everybody maybe three or four times that day. And we'd just like to see the problem fixed. Thank you, Ms. Tillman. Of course, what you have just spoken about, the second phase of the drain problem, again, was approved tonight. Um, you and I have discussed this before. It Lord willing, it's going to. Um, but this is, again, a process, and I hate that you're going through what you are, but we are, we are working to try to create. You know, I've never prayed for it not to rain. I've always prayed for it to rain. But here lately, we've been praying for it not to rain. Yes, ma'am. Thank you for your comments. The next one signed up is Mr. Michael Maltis. Did the county engineer approve this project? Uh, the county engineer did approve this project. Do you want to speak on your behalf? We were working, uh, the school board contacted us and asked us to, uh, to do this project. And of course, we looked at it and we did. And, uh, and, uh, going to be the fix that I want to work this time. Well, the second phase that has been approved, Mr. Maltis, entails having a curve the whole length of the parking lot of the school. And it will carry the water to the drives. There's two drives at that school. Of course, you're well aware of that in the main parking lot. There will be a trench inlet that the water comes off the curve. It will enter into this trench inlet. Um, and again, Mr. Widener, if you would like to, you may can explain it a little bit better than me, but the way I understand it, this will 80% be contained. Yeah. Uh, of course, there's been, there's been issues in this area for uh, years. I, we went back and looked at our records, and they, they've been flooding, there's been water going across the road for years. Uh, 
<clears throat> we went up there in Cajuns. I know when the ice storms come through, the water would actually go across and it would actually frozen. We got the place in the city that he's been with the county for 20 some odd years and he would cause a lot of times when we have to. Uh, the, uh, what we're going to try to do is the, the curbing that uh, Mr. Webb was talking about is uh, the school is going to try to block a lot of the water that's coming off their parking lot into that area. What happens is we get a lot of rain off the roofs that's falling into that area and also that the parking lot when you pay like that you, you prevent any water absorbing into the ground so you know it runs off it runs off quick uh, but this curve uh, the plan is with it that it will block some of this water and uh, we will say we're going to enforce it down towards the gym which you all familiar with the gym plan and out that driveway and in, in that driveway we're going to uh, put the uh, trench uh, trench grate like the commissioner was talking about Hopefully the water will fall into that and stay on the school side of the road until it gets on down below Hensley. There is going to be some some water that you know uh, rains like we had last Monday or, or Sunday. Uh, it is doing it's unbelievable. You know, I mean, you know, I think I have reports that there was like six inches in four or five hours. And then I know immediately after we got the project completed, there was like five inch rain in four hours. Everybody was flooded, not just skyline, but we. I know Monday we was uh, we had pipes washing out everywhere. Rains like that we can't control. You know, we <coughs> can't control Mother Nature and things like that just hard to contain. Normal rains, I I like to believe that you know, what we've got done right now would uh, continue to work with the exception of down hands and blame. I do agree with this some work there in the But uh, you know, we're gonna try to do the best we can. And you've heard the commissioner just approved us spending fourteen thousand dollars and the school board gonna put some money in. And uh, we're gonna try our best to fix it. Uh, you, know, you can't you can't always uh, understand what rain rainwater is gonna do, how much you know, how much you get. It all depends on how much you get and how fast you get. Y'all got a lot of rain in a little time, but twice. Unfortunately it was right after the project was complete and then last month. But uh, we feel like we've got the ditches cleaned out and we've been hoping that this will, uh, this will help solve the problem. And, uh, and I was talking to Mr. Lebel this morning in his office and stuff by and we, you know, we're going to do this, we're going to see what works. If that don't work, we're going to adjust. And that's, that's all we can do. We just, there's no magic formulas to, to handle water. We actually do have some formulas out in the county when they're you know, just, uh, just regular drain off and stuff like that. But when you get into roof loads like the school's got, parking lots and stuff like that, there's no magic number to you how much water to expect. So we, we're going to stay with it and we're going to adjust it as necessary and do the best we can with it. The next question, I've already had my house surveyed for a month and I'm going to take it to the next step and I'm going to pay for it to have everything underneath the house removed so that they can do a full inspection. I find mold in my house. I've already got an estimate from Surpro what it's going to take to mitigate that damage and seal it. Problem is if I do have damage in the house, this project affects our home down the road should we ever decide to sell the house. If I find mold in the house, or a serve probe does, and I have to have that mold mitigated, I have to announce that to the person that's making an offer to buy my house, which then lowers the value of my house. So this whole project had repercussions that go into the future because of not taking the time to stand at the end of my driveway and take enough time to look and go, you know, we, we do this, where's that water going? I got pictures, I can tell you where the water went. Okay, went right into my house, underneath my house. I've got pictures of the pieces of insulation that came out with mold on them. I find mold, I find mold, or Surpro does. Who do you think is going to pay for it? I didn't cause the problem. You have to understand. They find mold. I'm going to be back here delivering a bill to you, and I'm going to expect it to be paid. You cause the damage. School board's involved also. As far as I'm concerned, they are as half as guilty as anybody in this. They find mold. Both of you are going to get to pay half that bill. I'm going to expect it. Uh, I will say on behalf of. The commission, this project was started as an erosion. I explained that to Ms. Tidwell Saturday. That ditch was eroded 
And really? Uh, was there a survey done? Excuse me. Was there a survey? Yes, there was. Oh, really? The Department of Agriculture did. Okay. Uh, can you produce that survey? I sure can. Okay. I'd like to have a copy. I sure can. Be, be more than happy to give you a copy. And well, did they give a, a reason to uh, fill that ditch in with the culvert? No, or sir. They didn't what, they, what, they, what they suggested for their first one was putting an erosion control mat. Filling in and putting an erosion control mat. Philip, again, if you want to join in, if you remember any of this a little better than I do, I've got the information. Okay. It was going to be a mat, a control mat. And it wouldn't work. Excuse me. Is the control map the one that's down now? No, sir. No, sir. Okay. The one that they planned was to go in the bottom of the existing ditch that was there. And the ditch, of course, was, was pretty big. You couldn't mow it, couldn't take care of it. And again, I, I've explained this to you guys. I'm going to tell you publicly right now. Uh, none of this was done intentionally. I know there's some issues up there, and I hate that you're going through it but it was done to enhance the looks of that place and try to uh, fix an erosion problem. So you would have to look at it. Who hurt, you know, got they decided to do it. Well, hindsight is 20, 20 and, and that, that was not even in, in question. So your story. enhancement caused the damage to our property. Well, there's some there's some issues with it. We're trying to rectify it. I hope so. Anything else, Mr. Moltis? No.